Well, as we're nearing the end of 2017, uh, it's been quite an eventful year for us. Um, selling the property that we had and things, and Lord blessing us with a new property, and uh, certainly been busy there doing a lot of work. But um, we'll keep people updated on different things there. But I want to talk in this video about some of the upcoming coming video projects that we have. Um, just wrote a couple of them down here. There's going to be a lot more um, interesting things that are going to be coming out. But just to kind of give people a heads up because I get people saying, when are you going to do such and such video? Okay, so just to tell you things that are going to be coming up in 2018, um, possibly even before the end of the year. 2017, in other words. Possibly. <laughs> uh, let me explain. Um, number one, I've had a lot of people say, when are you going to redo your testimony? Well, that is going to be one of the projects that if I don't get it done this year, it's going to be into 2018. Sometime, Lord willing, in January, I'm going to be getting to my testimony. And um, the part of the reason why I haven't done it yet is because I am going to be including pictures of me as a little boy. And uh, some of the pictures of me growing up show some of the different things I went through. And, uh, you know, you're actually going to get to see Brother Brian Denlinger without a beard. I know that's going to be really, really weird for a lot of people. But uh, <laughs> uh, I didn't always have a beard. I know some people might think I did, but um, so I'm going to be showing that. And I have a book that my mother compiled for me, the baby pictures and things that all up through. And uh, I do not know where on earth the thing is. And I've looked around and looked around. I can't remember if it's here someplace, you know, because I have this annoying habit of I'm going to put it someplace to keep it safe. And then I forget where I put it, you know. I'm sure nobody else does that, but, uh, you know. But uh, so I, I need to find wherever the book is, if it's in storage at our property or here or someplace. So I've been wanting to do that. I have a lot of other projects and things to do that we've been um, doing. But And then another part of the testimony is going to be my past in uh, motorcycles, fast cars, ATVs, dirt bikes, that whole thing. I'm going to be going over that. It's going to be kind of more for, um, you know, there's, I was going to say guys, but I know that there's, some women out there too that are into motorcycles and things so but uh, mostly guys you know motor, motor, motorheads and things and uh, just to kind of show you some of the things I've I've uh, experienced in my past there because that was a big part of my life um, you know I was actually that's my only uh, quote-unquote formal education is actually to be a motorcycle mechanic so I'm a certified motorcycle repair technician but uh, <laughs> uh, so I went. I did go through some motorcycle repair training and stuff like that, but um, just the, you know, spent a lot of years on motorcycles and ATVs and I had cars and trucks and things like that. A lot of different vehicles, and the lessons I learned, and uh, both before and after salvation. So that's going to be kind of an interesting study. And again, you're going to get to see some pictures of me from the past and things. Um, then updated studies. Okay, I'm going to be doing, still continuing some of my updated older audio sermons that I did for Sermon Audio way back when we had Bible Believers Fellowship. Um, I'm going to be doing those, but there's two big ones that I've had requests on to redo them. And a uh, uh, brother, friend of the ministry, really appreciate the suggestion. Um, the, he said it shouldn't be the pornography epidemic anymore. That was an old audio study that I did. And it's one of the most viewed studies. I think it's like over 200,000 views uh, on this channel. So quite a few people have seen it, which tells me there's a big problem. Um, but he said, I don't, he said, I don't, if you redo it, don't make it pornography epidemic. It should be pornography pandemic. And so I think that that's actually going to be the title. So thank you for that, brother. I'm going to redo that because there are some more pieces of advice that I have if you're struggling with the sin of pornography, looking at pornography and things like that. Um, the other one I'm going to redo is the Modest Apparel study. Uh, again, it's kind of a funny thing because way back when I did my first study on Modest Apparel uh, for women, um, I uh, was a single guy. And, you know, you say, well, then you shouldn't have done it. You didn't qualify. Well, you know, Paul talked about it and things, so he was a single guy. And, you know, the Scripture has the authority. So I thought, well, this will be kind of a unique way to, for, you know, a sermon to come out from a single preacher to talk about modest apparel for women and 
But now I kind of obviously have a little bit more of a um, expert living with me, my wife, and um, she has um, certainly had a past of very immodest apparel, um, extremely immodest apparel in her time in the military and dance and ballet and, and I mean she's had a lot of different uh, things that she's worn and whatever else and she's going to share some of her experience and she got saved, heard my initial study on modest apparel, looked at the scriptures and said I'm changing and she's been dressing in dresses, uh, skirts and dresses ever since then and really kind of got away from skirts, you know that's another issue, she'll talk about that but uh, she's, I mean she's when my wife studies something, if you haven't figured this out yet, she doesn't just say, well, I'm just going to kind of do the practical. She'll get into the science behind the thing. I mean, she goes into all the technical details. So she's actually studied and researched where did the, the movement begin? Where did the whole thing of modest, you know, when did women stop going, you know, start putting pants on instead of having dresses on? And it's fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. I'll just give away a little of a hint there. You know where it came from? theater centuries ago uh, women pretending that they were men and things like that in theater Shakespearean type theater and stuff like that and they would stop they'd put take off the dress and put on pants up on the stage and isn't it ironic that today the main pushers of women in pants is still theater the movies entertainment Hollywood hmm and as a Christian woman you're going to imitate that Kind of interesting. But uh, so we're going to have some really interesting things on modest apparel. And I might even include, um, I've had different women say, well, what about modest apparel for men? You know, kind of a unique spin on the thing. Um, because men can dress, dress in ways to cause lust in women. So I might include that as well. And there's another little bit of an angle to the whole modest apparel thing, which I'm not going to get into right now. But that's also going to be an, a very interesting angle to this whole study it's going to be a big thing when we bring it out but uh another one that i've done in the past i did it i think was it last year or the year before at you know after christmas and before new year's right in that time period um, i did a thing of answers to your questions and i'm going to be doing that at some point in time i will announce it and leave it up leave the video up and uh for a few days and last time I did it, I had like 450 questions from people. So, you know, that's that's a lot of things to go through. And it took me, I think, um, I forget what it was, like eight or ten hours or something like that of, of going through those and answering them. It's a lot of work. So, but I'm going to do that again. I'm going to have, um, you can an ask a question in the comments and I'll answer it from the scriptures. Uh, so that'll be an interesting thing to do. And I'm also going to review this thing. My 1611 Bible that a friend of the ministry gave me. And i uh, going to be doing some preaching from it as well, uh, just to show that you can. And it's a beautiful Bible, certainly. So... I think that uh, the Word of God should be used and not just sit on a shelf because it looks pretty or something, you know. So, uh, got some big plans for this coming year. And, of course, a lot of subject preaching and things and, and whatever. Um, so, if anybody has any other ideas, things that you'd like to see talked about or video ideas or whatever else for the coming year, um, put them down in the comments and I'll check it out. I think that's going to be it. Um, like I said, some really interesting stuff coming up in 2018. Very much looking forward to it. Uh, so thank you to everybody uh, that's supported us, that's prayed for us, been there um, to encourage us all through this past year, 2017. And we look forward to um, preaching the word for in 2018. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.